karate and Kyokushin. Uh, Kyokushin and Shotokan karate. And uh, a purple belt under uh, Phil from Raw Bangkok. Fantastic. As we start, Shugina, as we start Shugina, round one, I want to give a shout out to the Moven Pick and four points by Sheraton, the sponsors of all the Full Metal Dojo. Gotta as, give those shout outs, John. Gotta give those shout outs. Gotta give them. As the guys square off right now, Pawn Comrade in the white shorts, Pawn Sorsay in the blue. Keeping the Camara fight. Oh, nice level change. Yes, great takedown. Great. Pass the guard. Look at that. Securing the position, making sure he doesn't recover his guard again. And the fans for Comrade. Picking up as the atmosphere is you can absolutely hear, you, you crazy. You can hear them just cheering for him. If you've never been to Bangkok, Hometown you've never crowd. been to an FMD show, this is one of the best live MMA experiences you can ever have. Cage side and stage side. In, bands, DJs, in and fights going in Thailand. on. Yes. Not to mention the food. Not to mention the food. Thailand's got some amazing food. Correct, Amundo. Oh, Adam Kayum lives here as well and has a gym here and does. you've rolled with Pond before, yes, correct? Yes, I have. Yes, I so, have. He, he's... He's come to my gym before to Comrade do a little bit of rolling. Comrade bringing the knees. And, uh, you can see that Kung Khmer fighter did not want to let go of Pond's head in fear of getting pounded. But that's not the right thing to do right now. You should be trying to recover guard, not trying to hold on to a, a bad guillotine. Yeah, the big boy headlock as a lot of these guys actually oh, there go, you go, you know. Nice knee right there. Oh, now Pond switched the mount and now giving some neighborly love to his uh, Kung yep. Khmer fighter. Uh, again, I think a lot of those shots don't have a lot of power in them. I think, again, is he, is he, there's a good Just elbow. Just as you said that, he throws an elbow. Right, but that's, again, that's a good tactical uh, thing. Smothering the face, making it a hard for the again. opponent to breathe, and then laying down the elbow in return. Well, well you, can, you can hear his corner shouting out hammer, as in hammer fist. Ha uh, hammer fist and one two. Just to give a bit of so translation say, there. Yep, the uh, the Kamir fighter. See, I think again. Look, look, look at it. I, Pond is setting him up for the uh, the submission attempt. Yeah, he's trying to go for the armbar here. But uh, oh, there we go. There we go. He's trying to go for the armbar. Oh, he might have it here, John. He Referee might on have top it. Of it. He's just gotta get that angle. He's gotta get his thumb up and a little. Pond's just gotta get his chest. Oh, How do you, do you think there you go. Kicks out? There you go. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Good little scramble here happening nice scramble. in the dojo again. Yeah, he's got a head arm control. He's trying to get him down to the ground. Oh, didn't quite work out for Pond though. But Pond doing the right thing though, trying to recover back to guard. The atmosphere again. To... The atmosphere is so alive. That's that, that's what happens again. Like you've said, you've said it before. Yeah, it's electric. It, it's electric. You, you need no. you need to be here. You got to be here. You can't really talk about. it. You got to experience it for yourself. The food, the fight, the atmosphere, the people. And you can see, you can see uh, Pond's coach there, Phil, uh, the black belt under Chiginha from okay. Chiginha BJJ. And again, uh, uh, Sorce, our Khmer fighter, also has the uh, heel right there oh, as he oh, goes. Oh, looks like he just walked into a triangle right there. Let's see, let's see if Pond can triangle. capitalize on it. Yes. Switch to the Amba triangle, and let's see he's going to get, oh, well, Khmer fighter lost his balance here. Now oh, he's wow. his hands. Got his elbow out. Got his elbow out. Back it's to a still scramble. not in a good position here, John. He's um, he's kind of in the coach oh. grabbing the cage. Not allowed to grab not the allowed, cage. Not allowed to get, grab the cage. No uh, dojo allows that. Jujitsu Joe making sure the fighters adhere to the rules there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, double knee, knee ride. Neon belly still riding knee. out like a bull. Great job by Pi by Pond Comrade. Again, you, you know, taking John, the mount. You know, John, we talk about how, how the Thai fighters have heart and they've been displaying and showcasing some yes. amazing heart. The the Khmer fighter, maybe Cambodian. not technically si Cambodian fighter. Yes, maybe for not sure. Khmer, either one. You can go either one. Okay, now no, again, you see how we. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you got me up here. I want to be down there watching the, exactly, watching the fights, right? Exactly. Well, again, like you were going to say, the Khmer fighters the, the, show just as just, much heart. Just as much heart. Maybe not, maybe not technically sound on the ground, but, I mean, this, this kid's taking some punishment. Correct. He's doing a good job, in my opinion, defending, though, because I don't feel, I, I feel like, again, these are like almost rabbit shots. They're, that, they're more for distracting. Right. But um, maybe again, as soon as you see Pawn trying to pawn his face, he's, he's, he's throwing those elbows down. The elbow's definitely connecting. Oh. Those hurt. Well, you can uh, see Pond trying to control the Khmer fighter's shoulders there with his knees, and then and you can see the Khmer fighter well. is still there. Oh, you can okay. see his so eyes. These these distraction shots are starting to pay off now, John. Yes, they, they are. They're actually, he's making his head bounce off the camera like a basketball. 
but again, his legs are still up in the air, and so he's not, you know, and he's trying to sneak out the back door there. He's trying to, but it's not quite working out. He's not really knowing how to utilize his hip movement to, to get a better position. But uh, oh, there we go, end of the round. Kelly Kapowski saved by the bell. Kelly Kapowski. Yeah, like you that. see how he did that? Oh, that's nice. The story of this fight. The story of this fight was Pike, Pond Comrade, being on top of the action Thank with you. great, uh, yeah, again, uh, yeah, again, with great ground and pound, great submissions. Who, yes, of fight. course. And we do Not have... taking anything away from the Khmer fighter, though. No, again, as I mean, we the said. The guy got out, of the tri got out of a triangle arm lock and a standard arm bar as well. Amazing heart. I just wonder displayed. if his elbow got... A little, bit of, a little bit of a stretch there. And we will go into round two again. Big oh, shout out to the that. Moven Pick, Four Point Sheraton, and all of the sponsors here, the Full and Metal Dojo. TNT clothing as well. Source A in the blue shorts, Comrade in the white shorts. And Fightway. Remember, fight Fitway. Get pro uh, Fitway. Fitway. There you go, buddy. Thank you very Fit, much. Fitway getting that fight on. Yeah, exactly. And Making FMD. better bodies. All right, so you can see Pond the dominating. And again, the back to again. punching oh him in the God. head. Oh my God! How is this guy still awake? His arms oh. are up. His arms are up. God, I mean, he is oh defending. Oh my God! Oh my God! There you go. There you go. Well, if 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 he if if this Khmer fighter could trade in some some heart for some technique here. Yes, right it, now it, he could possibly do something off his back. But as is, we've but, only seen him get out through the back. But he is right there. That's what he needs to do. Dig his heels into the mat and throw his hips towards the heavens. But then the again, heavens. You, 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 uh, you're also talking about for the fact that, John, that he's, he's, he's matched up against a skilled purple belt in BJJ. I understand, and, and, and his education... Coach Phil, Coach Phil is definitely, is definitely well-versed well -versed in um, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He's a black belt under Chiguinha, okay. Mauricio Chiguinha. And um, you can tell Coach Phil's done an excellent job in, in, in coaching Pawn here. I mean, as he that. spreads he's got out, his back again. As he spreads and out, now Sorce. He's, 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 he's chipping shots at the Khmer fighter. You know, they, they might not seem too heavy right now, but when, when in volume, it, it, it pays dividends. Correct. Uh, again, rabbit punches of any sort, they, they not only change the position, they can be a game changer in the long run. It's nice a, recovery it's a there by, by Pawn. Oh! Nice well, I, just, I, I think it's crazy that even though the <laughs> Khmer fighter is getting smashed into the canvas, he, just, he keeps on coming through. I mean, that was like some Terminator stuff right there. Yeah, that was. And uh, but you can see, um, still you, you can see the lack of uh, uh, the ground game is is, uh, is 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 being quite detrimental. I would not in his favor. If I was if I was pawn though, right now would be time to tee off. Oh, there's the elbow. There's the short elbow. But again, uh, we're here in. Oh. Maybe the round, maybe the fatigue I'm, is sitting on both of them. You, you know, I'm, I'm not a doctor, but um, I'm, Fit I'm, I'm definitely recommending some Pandol for this fellow after the fight. And maybe a brain scan. There you yeah. <laughs> here, here. But uh, in regards to question of heart, this guy's got enough for three people in the cage. But you can see that Pond's, un Pond's understanding of the ground game is just paying off big time. I mean, look, he's got side mount, he's controlling the arm, he's chipping away. And he's able to ride the bull all the way to the, through the eight seconds, if you will. The bull or, or, or the burger? Or the Cambodian. Or the burger, because this guy's getting beaten up like a patty right here. Yes, he is. And like I said, no disrespect to this fighter. Nope. It's just this, that. A lack of knowledge. A lack of knowledge. A lack of knowledge. No lack of heart. Not at all, again. Not at all. Hard for days. Yeah. But um, he is trying to do his best in trying not to eat any more shots with the occasional outreach of his arm, which I wouldn't recommend because that'll get your arm broken. Pawn Comrade still raining down the fair text, but he's now able to kind of pick his shots as the, the Cambodian oh, comes up nice. like that monkey position that he, they nice. try to do, sneak nice out the back. On, Good, on has a heel hook, possibly. Uh, straight wow, ankle this there, is a, straight ankle there. It looks like Pawn's going for a leg lock as well. This Briefly. is amazing. How did, the, how did the Cambodian just roll out of this? And, Two seconds ago, he was just getting all uh, right. I would, I, would, I, would, I would be letting go right Soccer now. Soccer kicks. He doesn't quite have the submission. Uh, he should be trying to focus on trying to stand up, but then again, maybe he's just suffering from severe fatigue. Yeah, and, and severe shots to the uh, face. He's got the beast chair arm position, hands behind the back of the head, trying to... But, but Pond, not able to, again, capitalize, in my opinion, because of fatigue as well. You can see the hands on the Ladies side for a pawn. They're obviously exhausted. But, uh, and they're yeah, back to standing up, and the, the Khmer, Khmer fighter, fighter actually not looks intimidated. Actually pushing the pressure. Forward. Oh, trying Huge to give some elbow. Khmer love in return. 
And again, pushing forward now. But I think Paul's trying to sucker him into committing on the shot. Little possum so he, play. So he could take that. He could take that double leg, which he just did right now. Yes. There you go. It does get him down. Guy. Nice underhook pass on on the left side of the Kemet fighter, securing the side control position with good shoulder pressure. Look at that smothering and making making sure this Kemet fighter. Well, does again, not have I think that Pawn, I think that Pawn again is fatigued as well. He's he's uh, bringing the shots to the body. He's bringing the shots to the body, yeah, but. Uh, he but needs he, this submission nice. because neon he, body right there. Neon belly right there, and slid over straight into side mount. And this is again the story of the whole fight, him being up in this mount position but not even able to get either the submission or well, the TKO. Well, it's definitely gone in Pawn's favor even though the Khmer has been showing some amazing heart. Well, every time we think that it's kind of like down and out and the, the guy's getting, pulls it, something it, out. Yeah, and he gets up. He shows that he's not out. I mean, he clearly was walking forward uh, later in the round. He and clearly I was surprised. got out of that. I was, uh, clearly, I, was, I was surprised how he tried to go for that leg lock. Just didn't quite have the control there. No, again. Didn't have to control the knee or the hip. He then. needs more FMD girls in his life. FMD girls are knowledge, <laughs> and knowledge is power. Full Metal Dojo, no. back with more action. No FMD3. sleep till Bangkok. Adam, Kayum, John Nutt, big shout out to Movin Pick and the Four Points and all the sponsors. And Fitway. Of, of the Full Metal Dojo. Yeah, making sure their fighters Round get their protein. Round three, Source, Cambodian in the blue shorts. Pawn Comrade, Thai in the white shorts. And again. Pawn Comrade looking looking the fresher of the two fighters. Though. This has been amazing. The Cambodian, I can't believe. He's still he's coming forward. Look, still he's charging forward. Decent, decent um, stuff. Um, by stuff the, the Source. By, by, the, by the Cambodian fire. Oh, but Pawn able to put the pressure and put the Cambodian fight up against the cage and now trying to pass the guard. Oh, Cambodian fight is not giving up. No, he is this not giving heart, up. Man. But, Bunched um, against the cage. Not, yeah, not still 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 trying to hold on to that lost guillotine. Knees, knees coming oh. from Pawn. Pawn laying down some knees there, showing some neighborly love. Thailand and again, versus Cambodia here, ladies and gentlemen. Looking to possibly oh, get past the right guard, knee the right straight to mount. Wow, pawn right here showing some awesome BJJ. Just uh, passing the guard, getting the knee right, putting the pressure, getting onto mount. Now, dominating in this position and chipping away at his uh, Cambodian fighter. And again, uh, <sighs> now that he's that there and looking to rain down. Oh, look at it, look at it. The Cambodian fighter's trying to walk the wall. Trying to jump. walk. Trying to walk, but I think. Um, I don't think, again, Pawn, look at the fatigue has set in. He's he's trying to choose these shots. The elbows of the Khmer fighter still up, defending himself fairly securely. Uh, I, I think. Oh, it, now we got a back. We got back position for he's Pawn. Got back, he's got both hooks in. And let's see if he's able to spread him out and get that. Here it is. Here's the rear naked choke. There's the rear attempt. naked choke coming. There's the attempt. As we fight but for hands. The Khmer fighter is fighting. He keeps moving from left to right. He's, he's, he's moving the right way. He's moving towards the direction of the underhook, but he's just not putting his back on the mat. He's got to face his opponent, which he's trying to do now, but then he's switching across to the other side. Education is the key, and that's what we're trying to do here in the most awesome dojo on yeah, the planet. And uh, Pawn is definitely educating him in BJJ right Correct now. Correct Amundo, Adam. Well, he's switched from back to mount now. Khmer fighter trying to But see, reply, that's like a massage. That's a massage for his face right there. The Fairtex gloves. That, again, isn't a power punch. He needs to come with those elbows again yeah. as we give a salute the to Shark Bite. The Fairtex Massage, huh? Shark Cool Bite. Yeah, the Fairtex fair massage. massage. No, again, you can, come on now. You're with me. <laughs> when he gets the elbows, he's landing them. Yes, he when, is. When these Fairtex gloves to the shots of the side of the arm and the elbow, they're not getting through. Well, they're more for distraction, really, John, to, to make openings, to make things happen. To get that submission. And I agree with you again. Pawn, a very knowledgeable. You said again, he's a purple belt. Uh, no, he's he's not just a purple belt. You have you have some purple belts, okay, but he's a solid purple belt under under Phil from okay. uh, Raw Team. Okay, so big shout out to them if you're ever gonna get your roll on in uh in Bangkok. Just a quick shout out to Pon's uh, coach Phil, one of the nicest gentlemen you could ever meet in Bangkok, and oh, a, a legit black his, belt. As his student is taking the back of the Cambodian, and now it's another awkward position. Well, he's, he's trying to go for a Hadaka Jime, which is a naked choke. And Cambodian putting the hand in the face, this but not kid's fighting. kid's got heart, John. He what can I say? I mean, finished. look at his face. I mean, looks like a, looks like a raw side out. of a beef patty. And again, is he going to go to sleep? 
is he just going to go to sleep as the referee is I on top of I think this guy, it. I think this Kamehameha fighter gets, would rather like, go to sleep than give up. I wow. Mean, Correct, uh, a true Khmer warrior, source A. Definitely, uh, definitely Khmer warrior. I mean, he's just showing heart. He's just, even though he's moving from one bad position to the other, frying from the not frying pan into the fire, so to speak. Yeah, John, again, he's not the giving position. up. No, he's not giving up. Look at that. I mean, he's just getting he's just from getting mounted, smothered here with a head arm choke position. Pond is wrapping around him, like you know. an anaconda. Yes, they exactly. Are, they have, no, they have pythons here. Pythons, in Thailand. pythons, like a python, like a like a. Like a Thai Bangkok python. And again, some of these, like that rear naked, I think that's over his face. So that's just a crushing, <laughs> crushing blow. Th yeah, it looks like uh, he's just trying to loosen up his front teeth. The atmosphere, again, still so electric here in Bangkok. You need to come uh, here. Form across the face, trying to make sure that the committed fighter does not turn the right way and faces the punches. But um, upon controlling the action here from mount position and the Khmer fighter giving his back once again. Ah... Uh, Yes, I under, this, it's, it's almost painful to watch, I don't, isn't I, it? I, I don't think tap out is in the Khmer's... No, program. he does not know what that is. He's he still in, raising the even hands. In, even, in, even in the Khmer language. It's crazy. Again, he, he's still got the arms up. He's still defending. Oh, Our referee oh, is still on top like, of the that, action. That, that, oh, Pon Pon, Pon found the time to readjust his mouthpiece while he was grounding and pounding. And we go position. the distance, though, ladies and gentlemen. Again, amazing, amazing action. Amazing heart, amazing action. Here at No Sleep Till Bangkok. Thailand. At, uh, May, uh, again, Thai versus Cambodian, a battle of the nations right there. And Pon Comrade surely securing the victory. Surely. Uh, uh, ama uh, like but I said, again, you, you can be blind you the, can tell who won the that story fight. of that would possibly be the uh, heart and balls of uh, the Cam Cambodian fighter. As Pon Comrade, obviously, from Raw BJJ team, has to take the victory there. Has to. Again, a great shout out to all of the Full Metal Dojo fighters.